be back in the studio with you again and I'm really glad because today I'm going to be painting this log cabin and this came about because of a request made by Chrissy Dennis who really wanted to paint a log cabin next to a stream with mountains in the background in acrylic. I was just about to recreate it but then I realised that I've run out of materials and I need to get some more. So I've printed out the PDF lesson plan from our webpage at www.montmart.net and you can find that under the clip in the downloads tab. Once I have my PDF, it's told me all of the materials that I need and I can get them from a bronze or above art centre. So I've found my closest stockist. I've got a map. So let's go shopping. Would you like to come with me? All right then, let's go shopping. penciled in. The next step is we're going to ink in the fine details. And we're going to do this with some black acrylic paint and the brushes I'm going to use are the finer ones from the Gallery Series brush set BMHS0009. So let's get this black in. Planetary. But for the trees, I use the finest brush and I just use the tip to build up the mass to suggest leaves. It takes a little while, but it's relaxing and the effect is quite convincing. I then put the finest branches in. Remember to hold the brush ever so lightly. To suggest the conifers behind the cabin, I use the larger brush and again use the tip. As the brush depletes of paint, I dab this dry brush on the edges of the trees to suggest a more feathered edge. I can then dry brush the foreground in and then lay the water in, leaving the highlight areas white.
now that our black monotone is laid in, we can add our colour. But don't commence this next step until you're totally happy with this stage because this is what carries the definition and the detail. The colours that I'm using and when to use them can be found in the PDF and you can find that in our webpage at www.montmart.net. It's in the downloads tab under the log cabin clip. So let's get this colour on. project are from the Montmartre Two Seasons range of acrylic and any recipes to mix them are outlined in the PDF lesson plan. So now the sky has been smoothly blended, the water laid in, the mountains and the background trees created. I go back in and I relay any tone that has been painted over. I then dry brush in some mauve fog over the cobalt blue base and remember to feather it out so it looks soft. can be achieved when a light green is stippled over that dark tone. For the rocks I use silver and this works well as it has some translucence about it and the tone from the underpainting can be seen so a textural effect can easily be gained. This is coming together really nicely and you see what I mean it really is just colouring in. Time now for our main focal point the cabin and if you refer to that second image in the PDF you'll be able to get some guidance there on also what colours to use. So let's glaze our cabin.
step, the rendering should be thought of like watercolour. Mix the colours with water and lay tones over colours so the underlying colour can still be seen. That's the best way to achieve a convincing shadow. Lay in the darks and then the white highlights over the top. For the stone chimney here, I mix a tone and then thin it with water to create differing tones. I then lay in a dark grey for the shadow on the stones and a white for the highlight. Finally, I drop in a shadow along the dark side of the chimney with a watery brown mix with a wide flat brush. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And even if you don't create your own log cabin, there's bound to be a technique you can use. And if you did like this lesson and you're not there now, then come over to the Montmartre website because there's lots more there, as well as our Facebook and our art club, The Creative Connection. Okay, see you next time and remember to keep on painting.